Gregor Mendel is considered the father of classical genetics, the study of heredity. Mendel studied inheritance patterns in the pea plant. In his experiments, he used true breeding plants that always produce the same traits when self-fertilized. Mendel mated true breeding plants that differed in a single trait, such as seed texture, and examined the results. This is a monohybrid cross, and the true breeding plants are the parental generation. Notice that the offspring, or first filial generation, exhibit only one parental trait, the smooth seed. When the F1 generation was self-crossed, the resulting F2, or second filial generation, produced an interesting result. The offspring showed a ratio of three smooth seeds to one wrinkled seed. Notice that the wrinkled seed trait returned and is undiluted. That is, the traits are either smooth or wrinkled seeds and nothing in between. Mendel noticed that this result occurred in many other monohybrid crosses, such as flower color. He then used his knowledge of math and statistics to propose a theory. Mendel theorized that traits are controlled by factors that occur in pairs. Thus, the true breeding parental plants can be designated as shown. Big S, big S for the smooth seed plant, and little s, little s for the wrinkled seed trait. When the plants make sex cells, these factors separate with equal likelihood into the pollen or ovum. These factors then combine in the offspring. In a monohybrid cross, the parental, true breeding plants produce sex cells, or gametes, of each type. When the gametes unite, the resulting F1 generation has both types of factors. Here, Mendel theorized that when both types of factors are present, one of them is dominant over the other, which is recessive. In this example, the smooth seed trait is dominant over the wrinkled seed trait, so the F1 progeny only shows smooth seeds. Notice that this dominance is complete. There is no big S, little s plant with seeds in between smooth and wrinkled. The F1 parents produce either big S or little s gametes. We can depict this with a Punnett square that shows the gametes and the possible unions between these gametes. When the F1 gametes join, three possibilities can result in the F2 generation. One big S, big S, two big S, little s, and one little s, little s. Which traits will the F2 have? Big S, big S has the same factors as the true breeding smooth seed plants, so the seeds are smooth. The big S, little s, has the same factors as the F1, and because big S is dominant to little s, these seeds also are smooth. Notice, however, there is now an F2 class with little s alleles. These seeds are wrinkled. That is, the wrinkled trait has reappeared and is undiluted. The ratio of smooth seeds to wrinkled seeds is 3 to 1. We call each trait a phenotype, and thus the phenotypic ratio is 3 to 1. Notice, however, that there are three types of factor pairs. One big S, big S, two big S, little s, and one little s, little s. We call each type of pair a genotype, and thus the genotypic ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. The big S, big S genotype is said to be homozygous dominant. The big S, little s genotype is heterozygous. And the little s, little s genotype is homozygous recessive. The results of Mendel's monohybrid crosses supported his theories, and Mendel proposed his first law, the principle of segregation. The two members of a gene pair, alleles, segregate from each other in the formation of gametes. This means that although big S is dominant over little s in terms of the resulting trait, both types of factors are equally represented in the gametes.